Hello, my besties, and welcome to another reaction. Eric Sicard has chosen this song by Lara Fabian. It's called I Will Love Again. Let's go check it out. Did I ever tell you how you live in me? Every waking moment, even in my dreams. And if all the stalk is crazy, and you don't know what I mean, does it really matter? Oh, just as long as I believe, I will love I've never heard her like this before, never. Um, her on a beat like this, uh, a dance song, basically. You know, uh, very, very, very surprised at this. But um, it sounds good, I like it. I think because of that voice, right, you know, she can get away with anything, you know. She could be singing a song, you know, like, uh, I don't know. She could sing reggae, pop, rock, jazz, funk. I will still be taking it as long as I can hear that voice, you know. So this is cool. Uh, a big surprise. I was expecting one of those, like, usual, like, you know, like uh, soul-searching ballads, you know, or those power ballads, you know. I didn't get that. I got this dance number instead. And um, it'll be interesting to see how this did in the charts. I'm going to check that after the reaction. I want to see how, how well this was received by the fans. Let's go hear some more. Tell you the way they truly feel. I would die for you gladly if I knew it was for me. So if all the stock sounds crazy and the words don't come out right, does it really matter? If it gets me through. I can actually hear Celine Dion doing this one, you know, uh, both ladies, are, I think they sound alike, you know, both ladies, uh, they remind me a lot of each other, but um, Celine Dion has like done quite a few songs, you know, with a dancey beat, so I can see her doing this, and I wonder maybe um, her team thought, maybe we should do some things that's more contemporary as well, you know, so we can like challenge for that same market, I don't know, um, her songs that I'm used to, uh, nothing like this. You know, and maybe if she had done this like much earlier on in her, in her career, she would have gotten, you know, the huge stage that she deserves. She's quite popular. You know, her songs are like in their millions and millions. But I just think she should have been as big as Celine Dion. I really feel so. Her voice is just phenomenal. Uh, beautiful stuff. Let's go hear some more. I 
Good stuff. It reminds me of um, uh, that anthemic song by Gloria Gaynor, I Will Survive. It's got this kind of like same vibes to it. Uh, you know, uh, you're not going to stop me from like moving on with life and loving again, even though you've like broken this heart in a thousand pieces. Uh, it's like an empowering song. Uh, yeah, that's what I think about that one. And, you know, the big voice, uh, you know, uh, the long notes. Uh, it, for me, it symbolizes power and um and like, uh, yeah, power. And to say that, you know, I am here, I'm in control of this, you're not going to break me. I think it's good stuff. Oh, yeah, I was going to find out how this did in the charts to see if um, if the fans, you know, took to this. Or, or if not, because sometimes fans can do that, you know, when they're not used to a certain style, the reception is not so wonderful. So let's see how this did in the charts. Okay, so here we go. Um, okay, in Australia, it got to number 31. Then in Austria, it got to number 16. Okay. In Belgium, it got to number two. In Canada, it got to number four. Uh, in the Canadian Adult Contemporary Charts, it got to number four again. In the Czech Republic, it got to number two in the charts. Uh, there's a chart called the Euro Charts, Hot 100. It got to number 24 in that one. In France, it got to number 16. In Germany, it got to number 25. In Hungary, it got to number 9. Iceland, it got to number 18. New Zealand, it got to number 8. Poland, it got to number 2. God, so many charts here. <laughs> in Scotland, it got to number 63. In Spain, it got to number 6. In Sweden, it got to number 31. In Switzerland, it got to number 14. In the UK single charts, it didn't do too well. It got to number 63. In the U.S. Billboard Hot 100, it got to number 32. In the U.S. Adult Contemporary Charts, Billboard, it got to number 10. In the U.S. Dance Club Songs, Billboard Charts, it got to number 1. Whoa, that's the big one. And then in the U.S. Dance Single Charts, Sales, it got to number 2. And then in the U.S. Mainstream Top 40 Billboard, it got to number 24. Wow. <laughs> uh, I wasn't expecting that. That was way, way bigger than I thought it would be, honestly. I thought maybe um, maybe a couple of European countries, but this is just incredible. So many countries, you know, and the positions are so respectable. That's fantastic. So the fans didn't mind, you know. I wonder if she went on to do more stuff like that because it, it looks like there's a market for that kind of like stuff from the fans. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and if you're like an old um, fan of hers, let us know in the comment section if you found that enjoyable or if you preferred, you know, the, the older stuff that she did. That would be interesting. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, as usual, please don't forget to give the video a big like for me. Many thanks to you for that. If you're yet to subscribe to my channel, this is the time to do so before you forget. I thank you for that as well. Stay cool, stay safe, stay beautiful in your hearts and soul, and I'll see you all next time. Take care. Bye-bye.